thousands of teachers across the natural state getting a pay bump this school year. Good evening. I'm Jennifer Pignate. Chad Mira has the night off. KNWA's Crystal Martinez joins us live in studio. And Crystal, earlier this year, Governor Asa Hutchinson signed a House bill increasing teacher salary. But are those in Northwest Arkansas reaping the benefits? Well, Jennifer, yeah, House Bill 1145 raises the minimum teacher pay by $4,000 over the next four years. It increased the salaries in 168 school districts, including Decatur schools. See you tomorrow. Rachel Gibson is the director of Decatur Schools Gifted and Advanced Placement Programs. She works with students from kindergarten to eighth grade. Our kids are our family. It's Gibson's 16th year as an educator. Like many other teachers, she's starting this school year with a boost to her income. My daughter was able to pick up a second dance class because you just have that little extra unexpendable income that allows you to be able to provide those opportunities for your family. In February, Governor Asa Hutchinson signed into law House Bill 1145, which raises the minimum teacher pay by $4,000 over the next four years. The goal is to raise the starting salary from 31000 to thirty-six by the 2022-2023 school year. I don't think you'll find any administrator anywhere that uh, thinks that teachers uh, don't deserve a pay raise. Uh, they have the most important job in the school district. Decatur Superintendent Steve Watkins says starting pay for his teachers was the state minimum at $31,800. But this year it bumped up one grand and will continue to increase using the state allotted funds. So Decatur is going to receive right around $300,000 in increased funding uh, to help fund these races for four years. Walken says the district is already trying to figure out how to maintain paying teachers the $36,000 without cutting programs once the four years of aid are up. It's these proactive measures that are encouraging to Gibson. It's good to know that um, we've got good leadership that work really hard to make sure that you know, fiscally where we're looking at the future and what we can do to ensure that our staff and our students and our community have what they need. Now, the House bill only helps districts that are paying less than $36,000 salaries. So what does this mean for districts that are only a couple of thousand dollars short from that salary? Well, they're still getting some state funds, but not nearly as much. Just look at Greenland schools. According to Superintendent Dr. Andrea Martin, it says their starting salary was about $34,500. This year, they were able to bump that to $35,000, but she says they're now dragging their feet as they make the increase to 36000 so that they can still receive funds but have time to figure out how they will pay that off. What does that mean? Does that mean we have to cut programs? Does that mean, you know, we may not have a literacy interventionist? We might not have a director of instruction. We may not have those other, you know, not that we want to cut those positions, but we have to really start, you know, really analyzing and scrutinizing our expenditures to make sure that we're really focused on that. And that's what I don't want to happen. Both districts agree, though, that the pay increase is essential, and they are proud to see the state supporting their educators. Live in studio, Crystal Martinez, KWA Northwest Arkansas News.